Three, two, one, let's go. So, our character. character. Okay, let's look for the average white dude. <laughs> oh, that is supposed to... Okay. I mean, I need to I need to pick a baseline. I'm probably gonna have to change that model. Customize, please. <laughs> so, model. Why are you calling it model? Okay. Close enough? Maybe. I honestly think that is the closest I can get to my... To my... Ah, uh, maybe. I mean, I had that before. That is way more hair than I have. Why is it? Why is it a double color? Now that I realize it, like, why are we... Oh, is the tint separately? Oh, the tint is separate. Okay. Why do I feel like he wants to kiss me any second? Let's see what, what fits close, most closely. But that is actually, that's actually pretty close to my, to my driving glasses. I had to pay 50 bucks for this. Wait a second. Where's the money? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even see my my bank account. What what money did I just spend? Is anyone is anyone missing fifty bucks? <laughs> I need I need to check my credit card, man. <laughs> you guys you guys ready to vanish? Can okay, I need something and something that doesn't look stupid? What? <laughs> There's a Countach as a starter car? Sure, an Italian supercar as a starter, that makes... I mean, it is like 80, no, not 80, but like 50 years old. A Dodge Charger from 69, nice. But honestly, once I saw the Silvia, I was like, this is gonna be my car. Now, you can pull, but I have already decided, man, I want the Silvia. I want it, man, I want it. Okay, we can see some details, though. Top speed, 288, 311, 314. Ha! Look at this. Has the worst acceleration, but it has the best top speed. <laughs> best acceleration does as a Lambo. Makes sense. It's all-wheel drive. It's not? It is rear-wheel drive, okay. Rear-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. Obviously, otherwise we can't drift, right? 288. Well, I like top speed. And I definitely like some JDM, man. Alright, this is my car. Let's go. This is our first look at the city. Okay, so she restored the car for us. This is it, man. Three years of waiting for this moment. I'm playing! I guess her name is Jasmine, right? Whoa, that slows you down, man. Especially when you go, like, super high angle. Oh, now I understand how this, like, this loading thing works. You know, while you're drifting, it loads this yellow bar on the bottom. And once it's filled, you can use it for a boost. And if you don't have that ready, you can use the rest of your nose bar. Interesting. Okay, so that's that's the crash cutscene. Super short, which makes them fine. Like, as long as I don't have to watch my crash cutscene for like 10 seconds, I can totally see the checkpoints, though, from... Like, just from the last game. Changed visually a little bit. Building burst... Oh, burst nitrous is what it's called. Jump, drift, draft, and near miss to fill up your burst nitrous meter. They talked about a bunch of customization options when it comes to the handling, so I'm curious how that's gonna go. <laughs> the thing is, you don't really see what's happening, what's happening crash-wise in that short crash cutscene. I wonder if it still activates the burst nitrous if I don't tap it but hold it. Yeah, it does. Okay, even if I hold it down. It says tap it, but if it's active and you press the nitrous button, it's just gonna happen. I don't have any access to traction control and stuff yet. Uh-oh. What I find interesting about the far camera, how low the car is. The advantage of that is you can really easily see over your car and what's in the distance. What do you mean DJ Kuru? That's the that's what the song sounds like. You can hate on the soundtrack, but not on my DJ skills. Get away, let's deal with the cops. So we should have should have the pursuit soundtrack. Whoa. <laughs> that was a bit laggy. You know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the first need for speed where you don't immediately get like the pursuit soundtrack. Oh, there's this ugly ass card that we saw in the preview. The, the ones that have like two pipe sculptures. I'm curious what car I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna end up. At least customization is big already. I like that. It reminds me of like an underground what? one tune or or a starter car. You know that we spent money earlier on our attire. Maybe I should have spent more, considering we start with zero cash anyways. Think about it. If you start a new game and just buy everything, like every single thing, then you don't have to buy it later. Because you don't have any money. You just started the game, right? And you can spend money, although you don't have money. So you buy everything, absolutely everything on the character customization, and then you don't need it. Money in the right upper corner, don't you see it? A plus, zero heat, no money. Dude, this is actually a decent looking JDM as a starter car, man. I feel like I took this car from Underground 1 and 2 <laughs> with like a body kit slammed on it, or maybe even most wanted. Ready to donate another car to the Razor body Club, kit baby. and spoiler, and there we go. So what I really wanted to check out... Ooh, body. 
Is this body kits? Oh yeah, okay. So that's our stock look. Are you ready? Vertex Edge. It removes the spoiler and it adds canards. That is, uh, that is a bad deal, my friend. <laughs> that's a really bad deal. Okay, that one, that one already starts to look better. Origin Labs. Not necessarily my style, but not bad looking. You need to go fast wherever you're going. Dude, why do why would you want this car to look like a Mustang? Or challenge? I don't even know, man. No, not Mustang. Why would you make this one look like an, a muscle car? Oh, what the? Oh, that was the one from the trailers, man. I need 17,000 for this. Oh, that's the one from the trailers. Holy shit, that's over, over the top in so many ways. It looks completely bonkers. I love it. <laughs> okay. But in order to get it, we need some money. Driving effects. Ah, oh, there we go. It's time to stand out. Check out the driving effects. Uh, the change. What do you see around your car when you're doing certain things? Drifting or using nitrous, colliding. The tags you choose are applied to all of the cars you own. Okay. So, I'm actually... Like, didn't it say that you can turn it off? In that case, I was looking for, you know, a turn off function. Sound packs. Okay, we have to... Gifted up con Oh yeah, you got stuff to do. Bear collectibles, bear collectibles. Okay, gotta find collectibles for this one. I guess we got some free stuff. <laughs> Epic. Tuba. <laughs> <laughs> That's great to mess with people online, man. You're about to win and you're like... <laughs> I think it's time to play. This is the map screen. Before you leave the garage, choose where you want to go and set a route. Okay. You can open the map in the world anytime by pressing the home button. This is a meetup. This is where you go to race and events and win cash. All the events available today are listed under the meetup. Sharp corners, narrow streets, lakeshore city and its suburbs. Let's give the people something to talk about. All right, there's only cash on the line no matter where we play us. Ready to go. Don't stop me. <laughs> I think it, it triggered. <laughs> Just crash into the meetup. Kuro is here. Well, we already checked that event out earlier. Let's jump right in. Oh, you can hold it easy. You can just hold the needle perfectly in the right area. And if you're wondering, you're playing on the intense difficulty, which reduces your health. You only have two restarts, and the cops are stronger, and the races are fast, obviously. I just, I just used the handling like it's nothing, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just immediately got the, the hang of it. And that's like the default handling right now. So far, so far it's good. And you know, you know how critical I am about handling. But give me, give me more time, right? Like, this is my first race. But I just realized myself that I, you know, just got the hang of it immediately. I will say, though, that once you're in a drift, the car gets forced into a certain position, which might not be optimal. What are you trying to do? Okay, we're winning. Our heat level is now a half. The patrol unit is active. Won't chase you on sight. <laughs> Imagine being a cop and you see a race and you're like, won't chase you. <laughs> I wanna I wanna be a cop when I grow up, man. Route to Radell's garage. Interesting is that they just threw us in the game without much introduction. Like that was a really, really quick start. Okay, there's our heat gain. Is that the heat gain for this day? Do we keep this or will it reset? I still have 0.5 heat. I don't think it resets, right? Good. Look in the right upper corner. The heat is still here. Yeah, as we went back to the garage, it changed to the night. Heat carries over from the day. Ah, it might reset after a full day. But the heat does carry over from the day. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. We have to buy in with 4,000. Where's my livery? Good question. <laughs> my livery disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize it at first. Dude, my livery disappeared when I checked out the body kit. Did it just get a Drift King crown or something? I, I do like the double moss system. It makes it... It makes it more interesting. You can lose a lot of speed if you increase the angle a lot. Like, if you need to slow down really quickly, this drift might be... 
Might be a good choice. <laughs> We're still on heat one, though. It's the patrolling unit that does not care about us. Oh, unless Cup Chase is resuming. Okay, so this is hot. It doesn't feel like Chase music, does it? Oh, it's that one! It's the one where we had this shitty leak. <laughs> remember? Oh, remember that shitty leak where, where the guy just immediately crashed? Okay, that was a really easy escape, wasn't it? I was about to say, we have money. It's time to double down, right? We get money from the first race, we're gonna reinvest it, as any clever investor would do. You reinvest your, your gains to get even more gains. Or I'll lose everything. <laughs> <laughs> Every Reddit investor knows that. It does work that way. Okay, so we have 6,100 cash on risk. We now can put that money down to win... We can put 4,000 down to win another 12,000. So far, I like it. I definitely want to play around with the handling settings because for now I'm using the default handling settings. Didn't even... You don't charge that much from drafting. But I guess it's still a free boost. Hey, I just realized something. That's like Midnight Club. It's totally like Midnight Club where you draft behind someone and then you get this burst noise. How did I not think about this yet? It's just like Midnight Club. I got 8,000 after buying 4,000 in, so I got an extra 4,000 cash. I'll run it, I'll maneuver to take it down. Oh, now they will chase me on sight. It's probably, yeah, because it's night. During the night they will chase you on sight. I don't think I can do it again. Yeah, it's time for the safe house. <laughs> now it's back. <laughs> now the game remembered that I have a livery on my car. Okay, let's go with my theory. My theory was if I check out the body kit, it disappears. And it does. It does? But then if you go back to paint and rap, it remembers that you have a livery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Drift to take it sideways, grip to hit the day packs in case of emergency, pull the handbrake. Look at this man. The game actually actively teaching you how to take a racing line. Also, I really have not noticed much difference between sensitivity, so I'll just keep it high. Let's keep the downfalls in the middle. But if I turn it off, then I just don't drift and I don't grip yet because I can't, I can't, I can't adjust this yet. We have to wait. We have to wait a little bit longer until we have upgrades. Run away, taxpayers. Avoid the cops, get the racer to the safe house. Okay. Transport mission. I need a ride or are we going to have a problem? <laughs> Such horrible English. Oh, you're not so big on snow. Oh, it's so German. It's Streif no Samoa, my friend. Call me by my street name, which is Der Nail. <laughs> what does that make me? Der Hammer? I'm going to take that call. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I love, I love when non-German people introduce German. It's always a mess. It's always so stereotypical, man. Hey guys, Korean. Check out Black Magic Friday. For the next four days, everything will be on a massive discount. Save on games, gift cards for PC and consoles, up to minus 90%. Link in the description below. Ah, okay. So there's information about all of our opponents. It's our friend, Danielle. <laughs> Oh, it's the one where I thought that he, that she's gonna, like, carry a sword, because that looks like armor. You know what, what triggers my eyes a little bit? The chromatic aberration. If you don't know what that is, it's splitting red, green, and blue. And you can see it on the interface. If you look at the interface, you can see that the text is, like, splitting away from itself. Interesting. So the entire interface gets yellow when you're fully charged up. Hey, you know we got that big money race coming up? We better make sure our ride is looking the part. Zit. I just spent most of my money. <laughs> Yo, tell me when you're ready to head out. I'm not spending all night here again. <laughs> you both on hand here tonight? Okay, unsurprisingly, uh, no, everything is locked on out. my... Oh, okay. Well, other than the wheels that, right? on this custom... Wow, that, that is instant. We'll do, boss. There used to be like an animation. Hey, now it's really like super jumpy. Business. Look at this. Let's this is a bit, this a bit unnerving, honestly. Uh, fine tuning isn't really. I guess. I guess it is. You know what's weird? When you zoom on it, the dot moves to the left because the interface gets bigger. You see, like it looks, it's further left than the camera on the rear, but it isn't because you highlighted that particular setting. Gotta have some on the glow, man. 
Platinum Blue or Street Blue? Steel Blue. Each session has different meetups. Ah, there we go. Some days there are more than one to choose from. Each meetup contains different events with varying requirements and rewards, so always check out what's on before heading out. We just want to exit straight from the garage. You can do by pressing X. What? You buy in for 16,000 to get 22,000? I mean, it's still gonna be a profit unless you get 7th or 8th. That, there's not too much of a margin there. It's kind of weird. Like, why do I have to buy so much to get so little? That's a bit, it's just a bit weird for me. I don't think I can teleport there. Exit garage, clear route, no. Drift, go to handling tuning in the pause menu and change to drift input. We still have not unlocked any performance parts, so I could do that. But we do have our crazy look unlocked, including our first Neon. You see that white bar above What's my up, like speedo? Short? I okay, think that's so the health bar. So this is the far cam right now, which I usually like because it just gives you a lot of overview of what's ahead of you. The things when you're in the action camera, the camera is gonna fly around like crazy all the time. Close camera might be okay, especially if you like to have a big car on the screen. Things when you go for such a drift, you actually get slowed down quite a lot. And the the burst noise that you get isn't enough to make up for it. So I really hope that the grip tuning is gonna end up being faster. Sadly, you don't have immediately access. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, that would have been that would have been so cool if you could just fly through that glass window and keep driving. Nice timing though. That actually lost me the freaking event. Dude, I bet if I... Okay, this is gonna be my first restart. I only have two on the highest difficulty. That's gonna happen to me again right now, isn't it? I can totally see that happening to me a second time now. Pretty silly map design. Yeah. Not the most... Not the most clever thing. Um, the first hour of the game, I guess. I'm pretty sure we're done with the prologue. I'm not sure when I will... Oops. <laughs> nice timing. I'm not sure when I think the first chapter is over, though. Okay, let's try to charge. It works. Vehicle repaired too. Ooh. Okay, so that works like heat. You repair your car, you get your nose back. Okay, right? Spotting. Okay, it says spotting, but I guess if you outrun... I think that works. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. You actually have to... Wait, where's the... There's the trigger. There's the trigger. That's what you need to hit. Okay. The more you know, man, for speedrunning, we need to learn how to crash into that opening as fast as possible. It's very important. I love the short crash cams. It's a million times better than long crash cams. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, it might be interesting to see the crash without the cutscene. This looks so stupid. <laughs> man, if this is supposedly Underground Racing League, it still does a much better job than Underground 2. So, our NOS does recharge over time, but also for stuff you're doing. I'd like to have an audible indicator when I charge a nose. It's very noticeable when you're fully charged though. The visual effects make the nitro look a lot more fast than it actually is, especially in the beginning. Like once we get some performance tuning, it's gonna be different. You can't really hold the drift angle through that particular corner. That's like another reason why I would prefer grip tuning. Because when the drift angle doesn't align with the corner, then it's, it's just gonna feel weird. But we don't have that unlocked yet, we have to wait a little bit longer. Probably the one thing... I mean, we get used to it. That's for sure. Like, we get used to all of these effects on the screen. I'm not sure if I want to keep all of them, though. Look at the damage that we got on the... The meter for the damage is super high, but I don't think the car took any visual damage from that crash, like nothing. You know, maybe maybe the pre-made body kits don't take any damage. No, the wings are visual. They don't they don't make you glide. That must be oh, I'm there's the Pella the stuff. The OG Unbound. Yeah, sure thing. Is that is that like the pre-order? Is that Pella's edition, Toxic Flame? Or an underglow air suspension. I really don't want to spend 15,000 in the beginning on that. Especially, I could have used the money right now to enter like these higher heat events. So I definitely slowed myself down, but I look really damn good doing it. Street race. Ooh, 30,000? Let's go, man. Big money. 
it is not the same handling as heat it's clearly based on it but they were tweaking again and there's a lot more settings and i expect some performance tuning very soon in the beginning i just wanna draft and draft and draft this is so midnight club man you get the yellow bar charge boom you close up a little i didn't think i would see the day where need for speed took a page from the midnight club book but that's actually really nice for game mechanic to have like two boost two nitros working together like this I gotta say these sounds are super satisfying that <laughs> club isn't cancelled it's in need for speed you just didn't see it yet sentiment seems fairly positive yeah i would agree with that positive sentiment on my side too i just really want to try out the handling without the break the drifting but without the necessary tuning parts i can't do it yet I mean, I could do it, I could force it, but at that point I would lose because I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. So I need to try out and use what is optimal for the car. And right now that would be break the drift. But I'm okay with that. I need to see both sides of the coin before I decide on one. Especially in online, it's gonna be very interesting to see what is gonna be dominant, breaking to drift or grip. I mean, obviously whatever is faster, but I don't know what it is yet. There is a lot of roads. You know, if you just look at the map, look at the density. There is so many roads to drive on. I would say there's twice as many roads as there is in heat. And so far it feels pretty damn good. So 30,000 is still at risk. Maybe we should chill a little bit before... We don't even know where we need to go. After we bank 30,000, we're supposed to do a pickup job during the night. You know, a long career could be very interesting for a speedrun because that means the speedrun is not going to be like two hours long anymore. I did manage to stay away from spoilers. I'm very, very satisfied with myself. Yo, what I tell you? My boy Alex got to look up. Check out this ride. Oh, it's a 400Z. Interesting that this chase doesn't have music. That was surprising. That, that I will say. The cops are surprisingly easy. Especially since I'm playing on the hard difficulty. Like I expected a little bit more fighting back playing on intense. And now I'm heat level 1. I still expected a bit more. Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah. 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 Shit, Rydell, you okay? <laughs> Wait here. Of course there's another dude. I knew it. I told y'all. Jasmine, who is that? I don't know that dude. Yeah, let's go. They just said your name. Rydell, she was with me all night. Who did you tell about this place? I didn't. You didn't what? You didn't go to the Heights? Laugh about how trusting the old man is? Well, who's gonna trust me now? Hold up! Took your ass in when no one else wanted you. Whoa, Rydell, you gotta chill. <laughs> yes, wait! And now we don't have a car either. What the hell? Did she just take the car? She took everything. Wait, is she actually at fault here? <laughs> Yo. Two years later. Did I spend so much money on that car too? <laughs> I spent 20,000 on that car earlier. You know how much money I spent on that car? Damn, we got betrayed again. I should have I should have known, man. You always get betrayed in the beginning of a need for speed. I'm gonna lock up for now. <laughs> Minus 20k, yeah. Actually surprised. Plot oh, twist. Hey, the book you ordered came. 